dry spot as far as home runs are concerned. But this time he drives one to center. Hunter goes back, reaches up, and made the catch. Oh, he is too much. Dory Hunter has made three great ones, but that one was unbelievable. We were waiting for the second base umpire, Mike Riley, and he had to wait. Dory Hunter reaching up, hitting the wall, and down he goes. You know the greatest catch I ever saw? It was made by Willie Mays in Ebbets Field in Brooklyn with the bases loaded, two out, bottom of the ninth inning. And a Dodger third baseman named Bobby Morgan hit a line drive into left center field. Now at Ebbets Field, the wall was not padded as it is here. The idea of those cutouts, as you can see, it's not a solid wall. It's a series of pads, and he's going to hit it right there face first. But as I understood it, those pads were supposed to give. And so you would go all the way through. But they don't give. He hit and bounced off. Yep, he's going to stay in. Wow. How many fingers do I have? Says Abar. Now Figgins comes out to talk to him. There's the ball. Dory Hunter at a Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Eight straight gold gloves. Not only no errors, but I don't know how many magnificent plays he has made over that stretch. Also, they have calculated that he has taken away at least 35 home runs. Getting up above the wall to make the catch. I think his chest is sore. And he's getting a well deserved ovation from the crowd.